Emotional intelligence refers to um, how well we handle ourselves and our relationships. There are four domains. Uh, Self-awareness, knowing what we're feeling, why we're feeling it, which is a basis of, for example, good intuition, good decision making. Uh, also, it's a moral compass. Uh, the second part is um, self-management, which means handling your distressing emotions in an effective way so that they don't cripple you, they don't get in the way of what you're doing, and yet attuning them to them when you need to so that you learn what you must. Every emotion has a function. Also, marshalling positive emotions, getting ourselves uh, you know, uh, involved, enthused about what we're doing, uh, aligning our actions with our passions. The third is empathy, knowing what someone else is feeling. And the fourth is putting that all together in skilled relationship. So that's what I mean by emotional intelligence. There are many definitions out there. The part of the brain, it turns out, that uh, supports emotional and social intelligence is actually the last circuitry of the brain to become anatomically mature. And because of neuroplasticity, uh, the brain shapes itself according to repeated experiences. So my argument is, hey, we should be teaching kids regularly over time in a systematic way, self-awareness, self-management, empathy, and social skills.